There's 150,000 people in the villages in Florida where I am right now. And about half of us golf. So it's really busy. And you got to sign up online. And I was really frustrated my first month or two down here because I wanted to make friends. And I would go out and play. And it was three different people in my foursome every time. And I wasn't making friends. I wasn't making lasting connections and friendships. And then I discovered leagues. And I realized we have a neighborhood league. And I have a church league. So I joined those. So um, I'm on my way on a Monday morning to my very first neighborhood league, nine holes of golf. And I was really excited because I thought I'm going to meet people that live right by me and we're going to golf together for the next 20 years. And they're going to, we're going to become friends. And um, I'm driving there. It's about 12 minutes to the course. And um, I often use that time when I'm in my car, in my golf car. And I was using it to go over our love is greater than hate values because I wanted to arrive with my potential new neighbor friends in the right mental state, right? So I'm going over our values. I wanted to get myself centered and anchored. And the last one is forgiveness. And we define forgiveness as we choose to live with open hearts, releasing the past and believing the best in ourselves and other people. So I get there, and this is still fresh in my brain and in my heart, and I pull up, and I pull right behind a cart at the starter shack, and I realize, oh, that cart, we arrived at the same time. This is one of my neighbors. He's going to be in my foursome because we got the same time. And um, I'm all excited to meet him, and then I see the bumper sticker. And the bumper sticker on the back of his golf cart is for an organization that I do not like and do not believe in. I don't like what they do and what they stand for. And it's of the opposite political persuasion as me, right? And so I'm like, oh, and I'm probably going to be golfing with this guy all day and I might have to hear about his politics all day long instead of making new friends and enjoying the golf course and blah, 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 right? Out of the corner of my eye, movement, I look over, someone is coming off the practice green and he's coming right to me. And I got about five seconds before he arrives. And this is obviously the guy in the cart with the bumper sticker. And we're going to play together today. And I don't even have time to go back over my values and get myself ready again to meet this guy. And um, long story short, we golfed together that day. And we had a good time. And I got to the end of the nine holes. Politics never came up. He didn't bring it up. I didn't bring it up. We just got to know each other. We got to the end, and um, and I realized I kind of like him a little bit, and, and I realized he kind of likes me a little bit too. So uh, we golf again next week, and there's 30-some guys in our neighborhood league, but we got paired up again somehow in the same foursome, and we had a great time. And then on the third week, we weren't in the same foursome, but we all get together right before and right after, and we chat, and we get to know each other a little bit, and then we go play. And at the end of the third week, he comes up to me. Now, there's like 30 guys in our league, and I'm brand new, but he comes up to me and he says, hey, I got this coupon for a golf course, half price, outside the villages. You want to go with me sometime? We'll go golfing. I think me and this guy are going to be friends, neighbors, and golfing buddies for 20 years. And I don't believe that would have or could have happened if I hadn't gone over my values and they were fresh, if not right in my brain still, they were in my heart and in my beingness. When I landed there and I saw that bumper sticker, had my initial reaction to it, right? I think what would have been in me was like positionality about that bumper sticker. And we might have ended up enemies instead of friends. I wonder who you might make a friend with that would have been an enemy if it wasn't for practicing forgiveness. I wonder who, you know, if it wasn't for working at releasing the past, believing the best in people, and living with an open heart, if it wasn't for practicing that regularly and presencing that when we go out to meet people in life, I wonder who uh, might be your enemy instead of your friend. Now, wonder what enemies you do have.
whether you call them enemies or not, people you're opposed to or who are opposed to you or you have a conflict with or you have some beef or disagreement with or some unresolved thing that's hurt your friendship. I wonder who that is that releasing the past, that believing the best in myself and others and yourself and others and choosing to live intentionally with an open heart. I wonder who that is that could become your friend or a better friend instead. Forgiveness.